Ah, Dodger Stadium is going to be filled tonight, but can you get a ticket now or for tomorrow's game or perhaps for later games, the hottest ticket in town, the World Series. If you're looking to splurge and go to a game, you need to be careful. That's right. Jessica is here uh, from StubHub with some tips to ensure you kind of get what you're paying for because it can be difficult navigating yeah. this. Jessica Erskine, good morning. Are you related to Carl Erskine? Good morning. I'm not, picture. but I okay. do get that often. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's check right now. You're with StubHub. Let's check right now to see what's available. I think we can put this up on the screen about what, what are the prices for tickets. What are we, what are we knowing right now? Yeah, right now. Cheapest? Cheapest you can get in for as low as $700, which I know some people Wait, that's the cheapest? Spell. That is the cheapest at the moment. That's the cheapest. It oh may get God. cheaper closer to game time, although the very first game is going to be a very high excitement. Wait, $700? $700, you heard right. But someone has paid as little as $500. So... You can get in for you know a reasonable price point, considering it's been 30 years since they've made it to the yes. World Series. Of course, we have different it's definitions a... of reasonable, but uh, sure. what's, the most, what's the most expensive ticket? Uh, the, the most expensive ticket that someone has purchased is $15,000. And where is that? That's in the club preferred boxes, down in front, great view, and so you're you right there. So if you were sitting right behind home plate, yep. what would that go for in those... 15, Rough, roughly fifteen thousand dollars. Mary Hart seats. What would they go for? About the same. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're called now. The Mary Hart. That's what seats. I call them. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Wow. Okay. And you know, we were talking earlier, and I can ask you, do you suggest going there to the game and trying to scalp a ticket? You I don't mean, need to go to the game to do that. You can do that from anywhere. We actually at StubHub, you can purchase tickets all the way until the second the game starts, and we have mobile integration, so you can buy it on your phone, download it and walk right in so you don't even have to go to the stadium and in fact we we discourage you from buying tickets on the streets uh you have to be aware there are people out there who want to take your money right right exactly you have to be safe you have to be smart there's there are, there's technology that can allow you to be savvy get into the game and you don't have right. to worry about now that we, we have some tips here these we can talk about this mm -hmm. here's one never pay cash yep don't pay cash. You can't track your ticket that way. If you have any problems at the door for any reason or you, you ha run into any issues with being able to attend, there's no way to track your ticket back to where you purchased it. And what was the other, the other one was, I thought was interesting is don't Instagram your ticket. Don't Instagram the barcode at the very least. Yeah, so yeah. There's, you want to share, you want to show everyone where you're going to be? Right. Don't the show barcode. people because the barcode will give you away. The barcode away. is yes. what, if anyone's going to try to pull fraud, which right. we tend not to actually have as much of an issue as someone would think. All right, let's uh, go to the next one here, Roll. Uh, there's a toll-free uh, customer service number. Why is that so important? That's exactly, if you ever have a problem at the gate, if you have any, if your tickets happen to be duplicates for some reason, then you can call customer service. In the case of StubHub, we have a fan protect guarantee. Your tickets are guaranteed to get you in the door. We'll get you better so, tickets. So if you get it from a company that doesn't have that number, don't get it. Exactly. Okay. Why, why should you not risk that? Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is what you just suggested earlier is don't buy them on the street. The and street. why is that? Why can't that? I mean, that's that's old school. That's what we used to that's do. Right? To go outside. back. Yeah. You know? Because technology has come along far enough so you don't have to take that risk. And with the app and something like that, you can we have view from your seat. You can actually see where you're purchasing the seat that you're purchasing the ticket for. Mm -hmm. You can set price alerts. So there's so many more options. You don't have to sit there and stand in front of the stadium and pay timing, for someone on the street. Timing is everything. Explain that. Timing is everything. Because you can buy all the way up until game time, sometimes we will see prices drop a little bit. That said, to your point, what someone thinks is affordable or is a good value right. is different. So, so, so I, for instance, if you go at the last minute, let's mm -hmm. say tomorrow night, yep. is the price going to be higher or lower? Tomorrow night's ticket might drop a little bit more because we're now into this series and there's mm -hmm. less of that kind of nostalgia of getting into the very first game. We are seeing that the price points tonight are a little bit Is there standing higher. room? Standing room. There are some standing rooms. And those go for about 700 Those are going for about 700 Okay. I'm still just amazed that that's the cheapest ticket out yeah. there. It's the wow. worst, sir, as you say. Very exciting. But it's about comparable to what we yes. were seeing last year. Jessica Erskine, thank you for being with us. Thank, thank you, guys. So